Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another reaction video. It's a special reaction video because it's the end of the year extravaganza. And um, just like Santa Claus, I'm bringing you some gifts. Uh, and those gifts are the, the personalities that are given their raw reaction in today's, in today's uh, uh, call. So um, always with me uh, from, the, from the control booth there, Sean Shields. Say hello to the folks, Sean. Sean's waving to the people. All right, so let's find out who our special guests are. Paul, why don't we start with you? Sure. Uh, I'm Paul Malloy. I'm the Group Operations Director for Hoist Group, and we provide technology to the hospitality sector. Good to have you, Paul, as always, bringing, um, bringing the, uh, the festive cheer with your with Santa Claus hat. You might be... Uh, Closest to the the North Pole there yeah. in Scotland, I think you're Certainly a little bit. Feels like it. You're a little bit, a little bit farther north than we are here, so, so you win that, uh, that award, I guess. <laughs> Agatha, what's uh, tell us about yourself? Yeah. So hi. So my name is Agatha. I'm a sale manager at Hotel Kit. Uh, so yeah. So uh, Hotel Kit basically is your ultimate tool for you and your colleagues working in the hotel. Uh, so yeah, so everything from communication and operations. So yeah, basically your best friend. Fantastic. We're glad to have you as a friend. And Thank the, you only for thing, me. the only thing missing is a bright red nose. Yep. Um, but uh, you got your antlers on and ready to rock. So without further ado, let's find out what they're reacting to. Sean is going to share an article, and then we'll we'll talk about it. Okay. So this was in the BBC today, um, and so I thought it was kind of a funny story. We've got we've got a couple members of our team, uh, uh, someone from my office right here, uh, Bulgaria, um, uh, and so he thought this was an interesting article about um, I Plovdiv Plovdiv. <laughs> he was coaching me on how to pronounce it. But I thought it was interesting. This is an, a travel article about um, uh, this this city in Bulgaria that has a, a, a fame of being super laid back. It's like super chill spot. And I thought it's uh, first of all, it's refreshing to see some of these stories about hey, how places that you could go to. Um, and I'm wondering, my question to you both is. When we return, and we are returning with, a, you know, uh, I feel very confident it's going to happen, especially with the vaccine. When we return, do you suppose that travelers will be going to some of these under-visited uh, locations, such as Plovdiv? Or do you think that there will be um, an, an initial return to some of the big, uh, um, you know, the big European capitals or the, you know, the big capitals around the world? Will people want to go check out St. Louis, or they're going to keep going to New York City? Are they going to want to go to? They're going to want to go to the Harlem, or are they going to still only want to go to to Amsterdam? What are your thoughts with that? Why don't we start with you, Ag Agatha? So you know, I think that people had a lot of time to search online and to see a lot of different picture on Instagram. People had a lot of time to be at home. <laughs> and I have a feeling that people basically saw or saw documentaries of places that they never heard about it before. So I have a feeling that people will go for those under underground cities, underground places that are not really known. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling about it. And as well, as I was talking with a lot of people, people told me, oh, I realized how much I never traveled that much in my life. And the second yeah. I changed, I'm... Um, I'm going to be running like a chicken without head. <laughs> so, uh, so I have a feeling that this is what's going to happen. I don't think people will go for a really big city. Maybe. I don't know. God knows, actually. But, yeah. Yeah. But you think there'll be a demand for some of these? I don't want to say tier two because that sounds like it's devalued. But some of these lesser known uh, mm. destinations and say, man, I'm finally out of the house. I want to go to some place that I discovered while I was in quarantine mm -hmm. and, uh, and didn't know about, but I'm going to go. I have my first yeah. time out of the gate. Yeah. 
I feel like more for Europeans as well, perhaps. I don't know. I feel like European, North America, different, perhaps, way of saying. Anyways, we'll see, I guess. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Paul, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I think exactly that. I think people just want to get back out there, you know. I was speaking to someone yesterday, and they actually said they miss sitting on a plane. Now, you know, that's one thing that I've, I never heard anyone saying in the past. Yeah. But now, you know, people just want to get out there. I think people, will, you know, just want to get traveling, get back out, get, you know, wherever they can go and visiting places that maybe you haven't heard of before. Um, it adds a bit more excitement, doesn't it? And often these places are, when you, when you get to places that are maybe not so well publicized, they, they absolutely, you know, make you think, wow, why did I not know about this place yeah. before? You know, these places are amazing, especially, I mean, for me in Europe, there's just... Yeah, you know, thousands of uh, places to visit, you know, which would be fantastic for people, you know. Yeah, 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 I agree. I think it's. Uh, um, I, I know from my experience, we have, we have done a lot more traveling. Well, I haven't done much traveling, but just little day trips mm. here in the Netherlands to places that we probably wouldn't otherwise go. But it's like, well, you really can't go anywhere else, so let's do that. And then you end up going. You're like, this is great. Um, yeah. So, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. You guys got any anywhere you're planning that you're itching to go to in particular? Yeah. Um, next year, I think we would like to go uh, to Asia again. Uh, we traveled around. We took the kids and we traveled around Thailand and Cambodia and mm -hmm. Vietnam, and it was just phenomenal. Yeah. So we want to kind of do a similar trip, but in a different location. Same again, taking the kids and just seeing where we go and travel, and you know, it's it's phenomenal. All right. Awesome. How about you, Agatha? Some place you're just burning to go to? Too much of them. So, <laughs> it's hard, hard to narrow it. Um, yeah. East Asia. Um, first of all, I will have to go back home. That would be really lovely to go back home. But uh, and then as well, Balkans. Uh, yeah. I would like to see, which I never. I'm just next to it. I just never had the time to go, and I would like to. Yeah, it's just too much places. Just yeah. like one after the other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anxious to go. Yeah, heading yeah. home. Heading for me. Uh, uh, my my wife is Brazilian, and we used to live in Brazil. It's been a while since we've been back, so we're. We're itching to go back uh, mm -hmm. and see family there too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Well, anxious for it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you everyone for uh, um, uh, you know for joining for another reaction video and happy holidays from Benza. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>